Okay, in this video, we're gonna solve this linear congruence. So let's talk about why we expect there to be a solution to begin with. So there is a solution. Because the GCD of 140 and 252, which you can check this, this is equal to 28, and 28 divides 56. So I have a previous video um, where I established this relationship that such uh, a linear congruence has a solution if and only if the GCD of the coefficient of x and what you're taking uh, all your modular arithmetic with respect to if the GCD of that divides this number. Okay, good. And so that's maybe uh, the first fact. So the second fact is how many solutions there are. So there are, again, GCD of 140 and 252, which is equal to 28 solutions. And these are separated by, so separated by um, 252 divided by 28, which is nine. So these are all separated by nine. And so again, uh, this was from a previous result that's in a previous video. Good, so let's hang on to these notions because uh, they're useful, good. And so one more thing that we're gonna use is that we can factor all of these numbers as follows. So obviously 28 is playing a big role here. And uh, notice in this case, we can write 140 as 28 times 5x. Good. And we can write 56 as 28 times 2. Good. And then this is mod 28 times 9. Good. And I have another video where we talk about linear congruences of this form and the fact that if you have a common multiple in all of these parts, you can divide it out. So that means if x satisfies this linear congruence, then that means x satisfies the linear congruence where we cancel the 28. So in other words, we have 5x is congruent to 2 mod 9. Okay, good. So now we're almost ready to get our first values of x. So notice that 5 is relatively prime to 9, which means 5 has an inverse mod 9. And since 9 is a fairly small number, we can find that inverse fairly easy. And let's notice that 5 inverse is congruent to 2 mod 9, and that's because 5 times 2 equals 10, which is congruent to 1 mod 9. So we can, in essence, do high school algebra on it in this case, but instead of dividing by 5, we're multiplying by 5 inverse, which happens to be 2. So what we'll do is take this linear congruence and multiply both sides of it by 2. Great. And so 2 times 5 is 10, which we already said that that was 1, and that gives us x is congruent to 2 times 2, which is 4 mod 9. Now, if something's 4 mod 9, then it's also 4 mod 252. So that means one solution is equal to 4. And then, like we said over there, there should be 28 solutions, each, each separated by 9. So that means here we have our solutions are given by 4, and then we can add 9 to that, 13 is the next solution, we can add 9 to that, 22 is the next solution, 31 is the next solution, 40, 49, 58, da da da. So I'm not going to write down all 28 solutions, but this kind of gets the point across. Okay, good. It's the end of the video.